Hey everybody, what's up, gigs? Back with some Awakened Chaos Era. I've been playing around with the new content, and I thought I would show you guys what I did to get 30 points on the um, on the daily challenge because it's kind of tough, right? And it's it's kind of a it's kind of a it's kind of tough. So I thought I would show you the champs I did it with, and then we'll look at their gear because I'm not even certain that they were all geared. If I'm going to be totally honest with you. So we had we had Connor in the mix, who does have a little bit of gear on, and I threw Zachary in the mix, who is missing a weapon actually. So that should be prom that should be promising. Uh, <laughs> uh, he has the gear that I put on him when I first started the game, and he's missing a weapon. So I just want to show you that while it is tough, you can come in and and do it without crazy champs or anything anything too wild going on, right? I did use Kira, um, but so the way that this works, I was I was figuring this out. I kind of thought you could just keep coming in and adding points. What you have to do is accumulate the total amount of points in one run. So like if we do this, we'd get two points for the run. We can't just keep doing it and get two points and then have four and then have six. You have to get 10 points in the run to get this far in the meter, uh, in case anyone is, is not entirely sure how that works. So what we did was I went with... Must include two elites. That's why I used Connor and Zachary. Uh, and we went with these two because they're right there in front of us early on. And now we need five more points. So there's a couple of different ways you could go here with this. Um, you could drop your health quite a bit if you wanted to. You could increase the enemy's attack if you wanted to. I would recommend doing one of these, right? Either increase the enemy's attack or decrease your health. I wouldn't do both unless you're in real good shape, right? If, if if you can do both of those and be fine, you probably are not watching this video. <laughs> you know what I mean? You probably already have your 10 points and you've moved on. And then I did no hero deaths. Now, this one's kind of tough, and it's going to play into the reason we used the spells that we used. But this was the team we did it with. Um, again, Zachary's not well built, and he's missing a piece of gear. And then Connor is not really well built either. He's, he's wearing what I had him wear at the beginning of the fight. And then for the spells, we went with the defense down. And we went with this one, the Shield of Mercy. The Shield of Mercy we're going to use on Zachary and Connor so that if they take a hit that would kill them, they're still going to be okay, all right? And then we've got Hakron, who again is just fully stacked up in defense, and then she's going to be where our damage comes from. So let's hop into the run, and we'll run through it real quick and show you what this looks like. Because it it, could, it can go wrong, of course, if, if too many of the minions target... Um, Target Zachary or Connor. It's going to take them out. Now, we did it on auto. I'm going to see if they can do it on auto again. I did just move some gear around on Kira. Now, see, they're targeting Zachary really early straight out of the gate. Thankfully, he stayed alive, and Connor's going to be able to heal him up. But we'll uh, we'll see. It's good for Hakron to get this done, too. That way, if you, if you decided to take the cutting the max HP, then he can help kind of buffer that a little bit by the time you get to the boss so perhaps we should have taken that one i don't actually remember which one i took if i'm going to be totally honest with you but if you've got hacker and, and you can use his ult on the way there go ahead and take the max hp down or the the, the cut in hp because he can kind of help you uh buffer that so we'll, we'll take over from here we'll try to a1 our way into the next round to be semi-prepared for it and if we can get another bubble of, bubble of safety up on zachary that would be nice before we get there. <clears throat> Again, if Zachary was better built and he was contributing more damage, this would be even easier. So I'm, I'm, I've kind of left him the way he was, just to kind of emphasize a point. You don't have to be like later game. You don't have to have crazy champs built. You don't have to any, 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 blah, blah, have anything too wild going on. I'm going to try to save her ult for him, for when, for when he can he can catch it. So let's go after these guys. A little bit of damage in there. Now, if he hits Zachary, we might be in trouble. No, he goes after Hakron, which is not a problem for us at all. As long as they stay out. He's going to get another turn. Again, just don't hit Zachary and we're fine. He's really an annoying champ to deal with. <laughs> with those extra turns he's constantly getting. But we, we made it. So let's, let's, hmm, what should we do here? Do we want to heal or do we want to buff? I reckon we probably better... I kind of want to buff, actually. 
I'm going to be honest. I kind of would rather buff. Let's buff and shield and hope that that's enough. Now, what we'll do is we'll get another stack of our max HP up so that when we heal, it'll do us a little bit better, assuming we are able to stay alive. We can go ahead and use his ult now. And we're going to throw another bubble up on... Although... Yeah, we're going to throw another bubble up on him. I feel like he's in more danger. And then we're going to go after him hard here. We don't have the defense down up, but hopefully it'll still be okay. All right, now we can heal. And we're healing into more. And then Hakron, if he didn't have stealth, we could we could take him out right now because Hakron can, can drop a thump with that one. But let's, uh, let's go after one of these dudes, see if we can get him out of here. All right, now let's go after him. And then I think we're about to end it here, actually, because she's going to get a turn and she should be able to take him out. So there you go. You got to kind of be a little bit crafty about how you approach it. But again, Connor and Zachary, most of you should have. And I think, honestly, 100% of you could have both of them built better than I do. If you don't have her, th there's certainly other damage-dealing stand-ins. And you could probably go with... with I, mean, I mean, if you... It's tough because the boss is fire, so Evero is going to be good to get you to the boss, but maybe not to take him out. But Hakron's A2 can thump. Uh, there, there are other alternatives, but that's how I did it, and hopefully that gives you a little bit of a uh, little bit of <laughs> promise if you're struggling to get those ten points. That's how we did it. Again, I, I would recommend taking this one over this one probably if you're running Hakron because Hakron can put that buffer there. Uh, with his ult by the time you get to the boss. And you could even try to drag it out. You could try to make the, the waves last longer so that maybe Hakron could ult twice before you get to the boss so that you've got more max HP to uh, to, to sit on and to heal into. And again, you could you could build Zachary and Connor far better than I have them built here. They, they, Zachary's not even fully built, and their gear is trash. Gear I put on them when I first started the game. So anyway, that's it. I thought it might be helpful if you saw how I did it and maybe... Uh, Maybe you could come up with, with an alternative for her if you don't have her. She is very helpful in it, but she's certainly not mandatory. So that's it. Short, quick video. Just thought maybe it would help somebody out. If it does, let me know. If you've got any other tips you want to drop below in the comments, that would be dope too. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you later.